Well, it's that time of the week again where we get to talk about what came out this week, what's coming out next week, and of course, that beautiful VR gaming news. But before we dive into that, let's talk about today's channel sponsor, Smash Drums. It's time to put down those lightsabers and pick up those drumsticks because we are diving into my all-time favorite rhythm game. It has arcade, classic mode, multiplayer. You can play this entirely in virtual reality or even mixed reality. In a mixed reality mode, you have full procedural destruction and even painting. Yeah, you heard me right. You can paint in this. It has an insane library of music built into this game and of course premium packs if you really want to cater this to yourself. And you can even use the Reister King custom drum set in there. I'm just saying, it's the best looking one in the game, so you may as well use it. And of course, you can find links for it in the description or in the pinned comment, so go and pick this up for yourself today. Anyway, let's dive into new VR games this week. And we're going to kick this all off with VR Skater. This has now made its way to the MetaQuest store after being on PC and PSVR 2. And now the Quest players finally have an awesome skating game where they can get in and, well, kickflip, do some freaking gnarly tricks, and of course experience this game in its fullness on the Quest platform. This is a really cool game. Honestly, I've loved this on every other platform I've managed to play it on, including the Quest. It looks freaking fantastic on it. On top of that, you also have some freaking dope music that's going to get you hyped up while you're out there skating, and it's very intuitive to get into this and just start going. Next, we had Toy Monsters dropping. This is the mixed reality game I've been talking to you guys about a little bit here and there, and it's finally released on the Quest as of yesterday. So if you're interested in checking out a mixed reality sort of toy box style game where you can have a bit of a tower defense situation going on with some other very intuitive things as well like having special abilities coming out of your hands and of course the main game as well keeping you entertained throughout this actually surprised me when i jumped into it that it actually kind of consumed me for a little while uh, i was not expecting to really care about this game because it looks kind of simplistic on the outside but once you actually dive into it it's a pretty damn fun game it's got a little bit of depth to it and i think it's got enough to lock you in and enjoy this for a period of time so if you're looking for something mixed reality this is going to be for you next up we finally have a good racing game in the virtual reality store on quest and this one is all about motorbikes so this is vr rider vr rider is a motorbike sim where you're actually going to get in there and race some real bikes they're actually licensed out some real bikes on this as well and you're going to feel the friggin speed i jumped into this briefly just to check it out and it wowed me not only does it look pretty damn good for a quest game but it also plays really really well so i'm pretty impressed to say that this is actually there sadly though this is on the app lab instead of the main store i feel like this definitely should have made its way to the main store but all you have to do is search v rider in your search engine on the quest app and you'll find it right at the bottom scroll down to the app lab titles and you'll find it there to be able to pick it up vr news this week well, this is where things get kind of interesting this week as we've had a bunch of really interesting VR news. Stuff like Breachers. Breachers, one of my all-time favorite multiplayer games, has now just had a competitive mode update. You can play alone or with a team to earn your initial rank. After that, it is split into the following tiers. Bronze through one through three, silver one through three, gold one through three, and platinum one through three, then diamond one through three. Whew. Master, Grandmaster, and Global Competitions. This is really going to help you find that you're locked in with the players of your sort of skill level, making sure that you're not either getting absolutely dominated or, of course, feeling like you're playing a bunch of noobs if you're better at the game. There is a ton of different credits and things that you're going to earn from doing this as well, which is going to keep the game interesting. On top of that, you're going to be able to sort of play along that skill level that you really feel like you should be. This is a very cool update, and honestly, a ranked mode is always welcome to a game like this because it's going to keep those seasoned players playing for longer and keeping you just more locked in and interested in the game. This is a great move from Breachers and I think they're doing fantastic stuff for the gaming side of things. Of course this is cross-platform as well between PC, Quest and PSVR 2 so everyone's covered in this update and they're going to get to have some good fun. If there's ever been a good time to jump back in it is now. Go and earn those ranks and work your way through the levels. Next up Power Wash Simulator has just got a brand new DLC that has dropped yesterday. This is the SpongeBob that's my greatest spongebob impression <laughs> dlc has just dropped so now you can jump into this now you can go down to the bottom of the ocean under the sea and of course visit spongebob's house among a bunch of other cool locations now i played this in flat because i'm a massive fan of this but i've also jumped in and checked this out in virtual reality as well as end dreams was kind enough to send me over early access to this this is a very cool dlc and it translates incredible it's pretty crazy to see things like spongebob's house and so on and so on all in 
glorious virtual reality. I even went to the Krusty Krab. There's a lot of cool things that you can be doing in this, so make sure you check it out. If you're interested in this, then it's a paid DLC, so just keep that in mind. It does cost a few quid or a few dollars, depending where you are in the world. So uh, be prepared to spend a little bit of money, but what you get back for it is pretty damn cool. Next up, Demio Battles has also got a ranked mode. Now, if you're unaware, Demio is like one of the best games when it comes to sort of like that tabletop feeling game. They also released a Demio Battles game not so long ago, and now that has a ranked mode. The whole thing with that is that you can go 1v1 or 2v2 and have a freaking battle, and it it's actually a really fun game, um, but it was definitely missing some sort of extra element. And now I think with this ranked mode being added to it, it's going to just add a little bit more spice. Again, locking you in against opponents that you know are going to be on your skill level. Play the game as much as you, sort of eradicating that noob feeling or when you are a noob, going against a friggin' expert. So again, a very good move from them. Just a brief note on this one, as we normally like to keep this gaming focused, but I will also announce that the MetaQuest has just had a brand new update. One of the cool things that the update brought is the pass-through enhancement, which means basically there's going to be less grain, less grossness. So when you're playing your mixed reality games now, you should actually have a much better experience, especially in low-light environments, where you're going to have just a cleaner experience. Now, the only reason I mention this is because we do talk about mixed reality gaming a fair bit on this channel, and I love me some mixed reality gaming. I know some of you guys do, and I've also seen in the comments every time I make a video or cover any sort of footage of mixed reality stuff that you guys are like, wow, why does it look so much better when you do it? Well, the key is lighting, but with this new update, it should make your experience just a bit cleaner when you're in a pass through. So go check that out if you haven't already. Make sure you're on update, I think 64. So uh, it's pretty damn cool, but I just want to mention that very quickly. VR games dropping next week. You, you're Magri generation. I can never freaking say this. I couldn't say it when the game was announced, and now I can't say it because I just, I'm, I guess I'm stupid. But either way, this game is dropping on the quest next week. This is actually a very different game, I think, for the quest, in the sense that it's very stylistic, very artistic, and it's all about taking photos within virtual reality, whilst hanging out with a bunch of friends and doing some cool things in some very unique locations. This is actually something I'm very, I'm pretty interested to try out just to see whether it's absolute guff or whether it's something that's actually pretty good. I have a feeling this is going to sort of capture my attention, but we'll see how it goes when I jump into it myself. As always with things like this, I'll actually give you a breakdown on whether this is good or bad in next week's coverage, so make sure you stick around on the channel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll have my opinions on this next week. Next is The Flip. Now, The Flip is a uh, not the bestest name for this game, but it is a pretty cool game. The idea behind this is it's kind of inspired by something like Helldivers in the sense that you and a few other people are going to squad up, go in and destroy a bunch of zombies. One of the unique things about this game is the sheer amount of zombies that you can have on screen at once. So you're going to be able to sort of churn through these various different types of zombies as well and destroy them. Now I know we've sort of seen things like this with After the Fall and so on and so on. You know, zombie games are by no means a new thing in virtual reality, but this one does seem to have a bit of uniqueness about it in the sense that the grind of going back in there is quite good. The X feeling of like getting out of there at the end of your location, all of those things sort of akin to something like Helldivers, which hopefully will give this a really good gameplay loop. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to trying this one out myself. Again, I just want to try this one so that I can advise you guys whether it's a, a buy or a leave it. Um, for me, this is looking pretty interesting. I actually chatted with the developer of this when I was at GDC earlier this year, and they seemed very confident that they were going to get that Helldivers feel to this game in the sense of wanting to get back in and grind, having fun, and just destroying a ton of things on screen at once. So, fingers crossed this is going to be good. I'll let you know next week. And last up is Soul Covenant. This is a very cool looking game. Again, this is dropping next week, and this is actually coming from the people that made like Bloodborne and a couple other cool games, like pretty notable people that are behind the creation of this game. It is a JRPG sort of at heart I believe. Uh, the story of this is that you're in like a futuristic dystopian Japan where AI has gone too far, taken over the world and uh, you're going to be out there kicking some serious butt. Death is definitely a big part of this game and uh, yeah dying repeatedly is probably going to be a big part of this as well if it's part of the, the Blood series. So um, this actually looks pretty cool. It's definitely very stylized in that sort of like anime style so if you're into that kind of thing I think you're going to really enjoy this. Um, outside of that it does look kind of interesting even for someone like myself who's not massively into sort of jrpgs and stuff this does still kind of captivate me a little bit in the sense that action and it looks very fun and fast paced and it's apparently 
very story driven as well so if you're looking for something like that i think this is going to sort of like tickle your fancy when it comes to that that's about it for what's coming up next week of course we'll have some surprise announcements that we always do with these kinds of things but it has been really fun to get in here once again and talk to you guys about what came out this week some of the vr news and of course what's coming out next week i love doing these videos and i love you guys for supporting these videos so thank you so much for smashing like i'm sure you have already but if you haven't smash that like button as it really does help these videos subscribe if you are new and of course a massive thank you to smash drums for sponsoring these videos just as an end roundup on these things i'm going to try and keep any sponsorships on these videos just purely gaming related these videos are all about games and i want to keep them that way so i hope you guys don't mind that we're integrating these kind of things into them as it just helps the channel and of course you know lets you guys know about some freaking dope games that already exist out there thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace out